Hey, what's up everyone? Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. Um, sitting here in Ecuador, looking at the beautiful mountains. It's almost eight o'clock in the morning. I hear the birds singing. I just rehydrated with some coconut water, fresh from a coconut. It's a beautiful thing. Um, today, I, what I wanna do is talk about um, how to add a contact form to WordPress. And the reason I'm doing this video is because about a half an hour ago, um, a friend who I who I admin his site asked me to do that very thing and then it never dawned on me to record the process but then when I was doing some research in Google suggest I came up with a phrase how to add a contact form to WordPress so I know people are searching for this people want to know how to do this um, so hopefully you can get that information from this video today okay so now the first thing I uh, hop over into the dashboard here um, Go to plugins. The plugins are already installed. Um, I, um, to add a plugin is very simple. I'm just going to expand this menu here. Um, I use Contact Form 7 for this. I know there's a lot of themes that will have a contact form template within the theme. Um, personally, I like to use plugins and I, um, to do that type of functionality, and I leave the aesthetics to the theme. So in this case, we're using contact form seven, the plugin, to create the, the contact form. So to add a plugin, you just go to plugins, add new. You can download the plugin from contactform7.com or it's available in the wordpress.org repository. You can actually just type in contact form seven and find it here. And you can download and you just click install now under contact form 7, activate it, it'll download, then you activate it, then you have it in place. Alright, so once that's set up, you go to contact and then add new. Click on add new and give it a name up top. Right. Then you specify, this, I'm just going to keep this very basic, this tutorial, there's the, the basics in here. You're, it's going to ask the person for their name, email, subject, and message. And then there's going to be a send button. You can define the fields. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, okay, here you specify the, the email address that you want the email to go to. And by default, it's going to pull in the um, admin email address. All right, and this is a message that will be sent. It will say who it's from, the subject, and the message body, and it will let you know what website it came from. That's all default stuff. You can leave that. It's very simple. Um, these are some of the messages that the user will see when they're submitting the form. You can customize those, but the defaults are fine. All right, and then unlike out of the forms where you click save at the bottom, this one you got to go to the top and click save. So once you save it, you can go to the contact forms under the contact menu. And... You can just highlight this short code here, copy it to the clipboard, and then go to pages, add new page, give it a name, and paste in the short code, and click publish. And that's literally all there is to it. So I'm going to show you the contact form that I created earlier. Um, just going to trash this here. There it is, it shows up, it says your name, your email, subject, and message. And that's it. Very simple contact form plugin. Um, the, the, the look and the feel of your form will be different based on your theme, but that's it in a nutshell how you add a contact form to WordPress. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Again, this is Keith coming at you live from Ecuador, Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great day.